Hello, and welcome to the fourth and final instalment of Haunted Abergavenny. Tonight, in this extended episode, our focus is on a place that many call the heart of Abergavenny. Not only have we got ghost stories from this building, but we were also able to investigate this place full of history for ourselves. Join us as we learn and explore all about Abergavenny Town Hall and Borough Theatre. All filming was conducted in accordance with COVID regulations and social distancing measures. The town hall that we know today was built in 1870 to replace an old market hall. It is a place full of history, but also tragedy. When it was being built, a local labourer called Thomas Watkins tragically fell to his death whilst working on the tower. The town hall has housed council offices for many years and there have been stories of ghosts lurking these corridors which are also shared with the theatre office. One of these sightings came from an employee of the Borough Theatre. My mother used to be the accompanist for Aod's society and my father used to work backstage and they persuaded me to come down and sell programmes one year for one of the shows and I never left. <laughs> they had converted one of the offices downstairs into, they partitioned it off so that the theatre could have an office down there. And of course, I was sitting in the office doing the books at night and I heard the door in the corridor go and then through the wall, I saw somebody walk past. So as you go out like that and this figure walked past and there was a wall, I mean there shouldn't have been because it was a partition, there wouldn't have been normally. But I saw that and I got up and I went into the corridor and there was nobody there. I, I've never been frightened or scared. Um, sometimes you feel you're, you're being watched but it's not, it's not nasty, it's, it's quite comforting actually. Because the theatre can be quite big and in the evenings it's dark after people have gone and but you know, I've never felt scared at all. Um, down the middle floor used to be council offices and I know one of the girls there um, said that she'd seen a figure in a long coat in that middle corridor. So I don't think it's just the theatre, I think the whole building has, has something, yeah. There are so many different areas of the building to explore, from the basement all the way up to the theatre auditorium. We decided to split off into groups to take a look at what this building has to offer. Starting with the basement. The basement has been here practically ever since this building was built. Abergavenny Town used to be on a lower level, so if you go into some of the shops in Cross Street, you will see some shop windows in the front of their basement. Some of the basements are interconnected, it's like a labyrinth underneath Abergavenny. During World War II, the basement was used as a communication centre. There must have been countless people that have walked around these rooms. In 2016, comedian Rod Gilbert had a go at ghost hunting here at the Abergavenny Town Hall for his television show, Rod Gilbert's Work Experience. Whilst he was here, his dog accompanied him with the ghost hunters and for some reason, the dog would not go into this room. So we decided to spend a bit of time in there. After looking back at the footage, we noticed something strange flash across the screen as we were getting ready to film a piece to the camera. Soon after this, we were spooked by the lift. <laughs> we have now learnt that nobody was using that lift in the building at the time, as the only people there were our group and the hall keeper. Whilst this was going on in the basement, the other group were in the balcony in the auditorium. Ha <laughs> 
think that door's open. Do you know anybody here? There have been numerous stories about ghostly sightings in the theatre auditorium, from inanimate objects moving without reason and feeling a presence lurking behind you in the stalls. There are many unexplained stories. Hi, I'm David Baxter, I'm the Borough Theatre Manager. I've been here um, just under two years now, and um, previously worked at well, lots of other theatres, but theatres in Cardiff. I've, I've heard from colleagues stories, there's, there's lots of things uh, about, um, particularly the story is known that at the beginning of Panto, there's always a butterfly that kind of comes and visits and sort of um, in colder areas and, and people feeling things. I've always been, I've always been a bit of a sceptic. However, I don't think there's a theatre I've worked in where there's not been you know, stories of ghosts and, and kind of something. So the theatre was last um, refurbished in kind of the early 90s when uh, it, it, what had been a very traditional kind of flat floor kind of uh, theatre space you saw in a lot of towns. Um, they put in big seating, extended the stage and made a you know, nice foyer area and brought, brought it up to the standards of the times. Obviously that, that, that's quite some time ago now, so we'll be doing another refurbishment and we're you know, to make it more accessible and more flexible for kind of sort of modern theatre needs and modern you know, groups needs. So yeah, obviously one thing we're doing is obviously by pulling apart some of those modifications and kind of opening the spaces up, um, I think it's going to be interesting to see what we find. There's a lot of stories in these walls. Back down in the basement, we decided to use a bell that we brought with us to see if it would do anything. This bell was used as an air raid bell during World War II and was housed here in the town hall. Take a listen to some of the things we heard whilst we were down in the basement with the bell. Does the sound of the bell mean anything to you? The warden. Hi there. The warden. We're going to try the bell again. And this is the room that Rob Gilbert's dog wouldn't come into, so there was a sort of a feeling that there may be a little bit more activity in here. So let's give it a go. Who are we talking to? David. 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 Did you hear what we heard? Little did we know that the name David was to become a recurring feature during our time in the town hall. There have been stories of a ghost dressed in a long brown coat that lurks around by the theatre toilets. Some think he may have been a caretaker, but could this ghostly figure have something to do with an air raid warden? After making progress downstairs, we decided to all join together in the auditorium. We began in the balcony all together. Because the theatre has been empty, we thought we would play some music to try and bring the space to life again. Did you enjoy that music? We then heard some movement down in the stalls which was unexplained. It sounded as if a door had been opened and closed. bell seemed to be having some sort of effect. We wanted to see if anything would happen if the former front of house manager rang the bell, as she would have done to get people into the auditorium. 
One day, the bell mysteriously disappeared. Years later, it was suddenly found in a locked cupboard in the lighting box, and no one knows how it got there and how long it had been there. There was no reason for it to be there. The following videos happened straight after one another. Once again, the bell seemed to have an effect. We moved down to the stalls to continue our investigation, where we heard some disturbing responses. What can you hear? Is there anybody here who would like to speak to us? No. No. Do you recognise any of us here? We decided to create some live music with one of us singing on the stage. Afterwards, the group heard multiple things when listening for responses. Let us know in the comments what you hear at any point in the video, being sure to include a timestamp in your comment. Are you just visiting here? For the final part of our short investigation at the borough, we all moved into the wings of the stage. It was here where the activity quickly accelerated. Whilst we were occupied in the wings, we left a camera running, looking out into the auditorium. Is there anybody here that would like to speak to us? Is there anybody here that would like to speak to us? Nobody was on the stage or in the auditorium at that time. If you look closely, you can see a shadow move across the light and you can hear and see something walk up onto the stage. Can you hear the footsteps too? A couple of seconds after this, we started getting activity on the stage itself. None of the others are there. Yeah, but it's moving. There's to nothing see. on that. Film that part because there's nothing on that one either. See the one in front of it? Just carry on. Just, it's, 
Yeah, that, that, that bar there is empty, but it's, and it's not moving. But the one underneath, which is also empty. But look, at it's, it's jerking. It's yeah. not just swinging. It's not like swaying like as if it's been locked. anyone here can you give us a sign we can't explain how or why the bar moved or the bang that we heard but it was a nice parting gift from the theater from spending just a couple of hours at the Town Hall and Borough Theatre, it is obvious that there are a lot of stories in these walls. We think it warrants further investigation and we will return in the new year whenever we are able to. Thank you to everybody who has been involved with the a b Haunted Abergavenny series and thank you for watching and coming with us this week. It certainly prompted a lot of questions and we can't wait to find out more in the future.